good morning good people how are we today this lovely oh my gosh today is friday the 13th ew are y'all um what's that word when you believe in all the crazy stuff i'll think of the word later um but anyways it is 8 10 a.m i have been up since about 6 30. Clearly, I did not get used last night because ugh, my battery's about to die. Hold on. Okay, let's try that again. Change my battery. I thought of the word superstitious. So Friday the 13th. What does that mean? Like you're gonna have bad luck or September, Friday the 13th, that is. That's, I don't think the months matter, does it? Friday the 13th. the 13th what is supposed to happen uh, oh not the movie what is Friday the 13th mm, mm. okay anyways I guess it's a horror film but why like how did it come about who knows tell me anyways I'm not superstitious in any kind of way like I may say things every now and then but I don't truly believe in it um, so yeah I think my day is gonna go great um, I've been up meal prepping well first like I was saying I woke up at 630 clearly I did not get used woke up at 630 I was like hmm do I want to pre-order the new iPhone because pre-order started today and I've had this one almost almost two years this is the iPhone 10 the original one currently two years um so i was like you know yep i want the phone so i couldn't decide between the the regular iphone 11 and then the iphone 11 pro the smaller one i guess it's the same size as this one the one with the three cameras on the back this right here yep 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 that bad boy so i went ahead and ordered the iphone 11 pro the 5.8 in gold the green was kind of cool but that's just kind of dark and i am a fan of gold myself so i'm excited about that i sent it to my house in houston so i should get that it's supposed to be delivered on the 20th so hopefully i'll get it when i get home on the 22nd and 23rd and activate it and be all kind of happy so yay that's done i've been really productive this morning let me show y'all so we got a little meal prep going on right here. This is just some um, fajita chicken and steak. I have some Parmesan crusted salmon over here. Some spinach. A little bit of jasmine rice. I'm gonna um, bring a few tortillas just in case I have extra chicken left over. And I really think that was all of the groceries that I had left from when me and my cousin went grocery shopping, what was that, two weeks ago. So, I'm just trying to make use of the food. Um, I didn't really have any other like starch or carb or like I don't really have any other vegetables because normally I try to stay away from rice, but it's okay. I mean, oh, I do still have one salad left so I can put the chicken with that um, and I don't oh, I don't have my big lunch kit yet either I don't know if I told y'all I probably did but I only have my little travel pro because I used to have e-bags and um, I gave it to a friend I, I think I did tell y'all this I gave it to a friend thinking I would never fly again and I'm back so anyways I went to the crew outfitter store I didn't go clearly because I didn't buy it I attempted to go to the crew outfitter store in Houston and I don't think I've ever been to that one or have I been one time but anyways I got lost trying to find it and by the time I realized how I was supposed to get there um, my mom was at the airport ready to pick me up so that's that um 
Yeah. Mm. You know, y'all really, I love, I love YouTube, right? I do. I just got an email. Let me see. Hi, Lexi. I just started following you and all of your videos have been amazing so far. Thank you. I do know, I don't know if you remember me, but I asked you a few days ago about the basis. Yes, I do remember that comment. I'm a little confused to which company you're working for. At first I thought it was PSA because you said it was a regional, but you have the AA uniform. But then you said that Miami and LaGuardia, LGA, not LAG. Just, you know, I'm sure you're gonna watch this. Um, it might be a typo. Um, but I want you to have the correct um, airport code. So LaGuardia is LGA. And are a part of the basis, so it made me think you were with Mainline AA. I've been following your videos because I got my CJO for PSA and I start on September 30th and I just wanted to get the inside scoop. Ha ha ha. <laughs> the inside scoop. Uh, so if you don't mind me asking, are you working for PSA or AA main line? You know, that's a really good email for me to read um, in this vlog. And y'all, like I literally, I literally just got the email at 810 um, and it's 819. So for those of you all that cannot figure out which regional airline I work for, I'm just gonna give you a few clues to kind of narrow it down. And like, it's not like a huge secret, but even when I was at JetBlue, I hardly ever really said the name of the company. I always referred to it as um, near the airline near and dear to my heart, which is still very near and dear to my heart. Um, and that's just simply so, you know, like, we have very strict social media policies. Every job has really strict social media policies, and especially in aviation, like, they're super strict. And, you know, they don't want us speaking in terms and referencing and making it seem like everything that we're saying is, you know, um, affiliated with the company and, and all these type of things. So... If you ever notice, a lot of flight attendant YouTube vloggers really do limit how much they speak on the actual company. And it's more of just their experiences um, with their job, but they just happen to work for a certain company, right? So to narrow it down, I work for an American Airlines wholly owned regional, and we have four bases. DFW, LaGuardia, Chicago, and Miami. Now with a simple Google search, <laughs> with a simple Google search, you can go on Google, search um, regional carriers wholly owned by American Airlines, and then look at which bases they have, and you can narrow it, boom, right there for you, okay? All right, so that's enough about that. Um, and you know, wait, I got one more thing to address, which I always say I'm not going to address this, but I've had a lot of people recently asking me, am I going to, um, tell why I'm not with JetBlue? And somebody got a little, a little testy in my comments and it kind of ticked me off like, YouTube, I feel like I did this event already, but I haven't posted it, so I'm doing it again. YouTube is a way for, you know, me to be expressive in ways that I'm just not in real life. Um, you know, and it's a choice of what I want to share about my work life and personal life. And I do not have to share every single thing that happens. That's just, that's facts. I do not have to share anything that I do not want to. So I would appreciate, and I know everybody's not going to, you know, adhere to this, but I would appreciate if y'all just stop asking. And I understand that some of you all are new to my channel and probably didn't see that video or another email. Oh, that's a real estate. Let me get to that. Um, you know, I know a lot of y'all are new to the channel and didn't pre probably see my previous video where I said that I'm not going to um, speak on why I'm not at JetBlue anymore. Um, and that's still the same. Like, I just don't feel like sharing that whole experience, that whole story. It's a lot. And honestly, it really doesn't matter. You know, I, I will say it to the end of me. JetBlue is a great company. 
I really enjoyed working for them. Um, me leaving was abrupt, just as y'all know. It was a surprise to me, just like it was a surprise to y'all. But things happen in your personal life that you just have to, to bite the bullet and do what you gotta do, right? So that is that. So I will not be doing a story time on it. Um, if you email me and ask me, message me and ask me, see me in person and ask me, I'm probably not going to tell you. Okay, if you catch me on a good day, then maybe. But <laughs> more than likely, I'm just not because it's, it's mine to keep to myself. Like there's just some things in life that you just have to keep to yourself. So if you're interested in working for JetBlue, please go apply you know go through the process um, I am gonna say please don't send me a lot of emails asking me about JetBlue's process and things like that because it's literally going on almost a year since I've worked there and things change and I just don't want to give you wrong information so go find a Facebook page um, I believe it's called aspiring JetBlue flight attendants go on there and get all the information you need okay <sighs> that is that Anyways, I'm going to pack this food up. I feel like I was talking about something got sidetracked because of that email, but we'll be okay. I'm gonna pack my food up, um, pack my suitcase, take a shower, put my clothes. Well, you know, I might, I might have a little time for a nap because my flight is, my report time at the airport is 2.07. I'm gonna try to take like the 12.30. Um, I'm gonna leave at like 1230 just to get there in time and it's kind of raining outside so you just never know with the weather anyways so yeah I'll see y'all right, guys it's 108 our report time is at 207 I'm now at the train station waiting for the train and I'm hungry like always I'm always hungry right before it's time for the go to work to the aircraft the thing you walk down um so they have maintenance come out and look at it and the jet bridge is cracked cracked to the point where like when you step on it you can feel it dip so of course in aviation the number one priority is safety 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 so what we're doing now is taxiing since nothing is wrong with this aircraft we're taxing this aircraft to another another game to use a working jet bridge. So because of that we're delayed. So if y'all ever wonder like if you're flying and like just it you never know why a flight is delayed, but it's always something and it's usually a very valid reason. So don't get mad at your you know your working crew, your flight crew, your in-flight crew. Just, you know, come on board with a smile. I do apologize if you missed your connecting flight. But I'm sure the lovely airline will do something to make up for that. Hopefully, just go get you on the next flight. <laughs> That's the best that we can do. You know, nothing is perfect. Anyways, I'm working with um, a senior mama. She's 12 years and really nice, super nice. I don't know, I just, I like nice, chill people back there in the, the back I'm working the number one position so once we actually get up in the air we have three flights today we go from Chicago to XNA XNA is Northwest Arkansas and then we'll do Northwest Arkansas back to Chicago and then I'm at that point we had an hour sit but I'm sure that's gone now um, 
and when we get back, uh, where do we go? We go to Grand Rapids, Michigan tonight, and then that's what our overnight will be. And then tomorrow, we are supposed to, I believe, deadhead back from um, Grand Rapids back to Chicago, and then we do a Houston turn. I'm kind of hoping we get delayed and stuck in Houston. <laughs> Sometimes we do hope and wish for delays and cancellations. And if we could get delayed and canceled in Houston tomorrow, I would be a happy girl. Um, and let me show y'all this foolishness. I think I told y'all, but I don't remember. So I literally only have my heels today. I forgot my flats in Houston. So, unless I go and buy some tomorrow morning from somewhere in Grand Rapids, Michigan, or order something on Amazon and have them waiting for me when I get back, I am without my flats until uh, I get back home to Houston, and I don't plan on going back home until the 22nd or the 23rd, and today is September 13th. Oh yeah, we talked about that Friday the 13th, right? So anyways, just wanted to give y'all that update, live and in action delayed in Chicago. <laughs> See y'all later. Hi guys. Finally made it to somebody's <laughs> ugly hotel. Like, feel like somebody vomited the 80s in this room. It's so old and old looking. <sighs> but I hate hotels and this horrible lighting that they they do it's just like i mean give me like a real over the head and on the ceiling light or something anyways oh, please tell me this room has a um i put this camera down i can't hold it i'm like i need a microwave i mean a, oh. Fudge! <laughs> There's no fridge. <sighs> y'all. Y'all. I could just go. Alright. You know what we're going to do? So I'm not going to drink anything or eat anything tonight or today. I'm just going to go downstairs and put this in the crew room. Put my food in the crew room down there. I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. I think this is the first hotel that I've been to with this airline that doesn't have, I got my phone, I got my key, and I got y'all. Yeah, so I'm on the third floor, all the way at the end of the hotel, the hotel, the hallway. So I gotta get all the way back to the elevator and um, go down to the first floor to where the crew room is and put my food in there because it's just too much of a hassle to go back downstairs and ask them to give me a room with a refrigerator and or ask them to bring one I'm just too tired to do all that so anyways um, elevator um what had happened today so I talked to y'all after hair getting thick it's growing y'all have I told y'all that I um look thin right there I'm growing my hair with attempt to get sister locks that's my next phase of my sister locks anyways back to today so after our flight was delayed almost two hours out of Chicago to Northwest Arkansas, 
um, because our jet bridge was broken and we had to taxi the plane. Are you gonna get out of here? What floor is this? Uh, one. Thank you. Four, Good luck. We've been all tonight. Um, so we made it to Northwest Arkansas and did a really quick turn, came back to Chicago, and we're like power strutting through big old Terminal 3 at ORD to get to our next gate because we had an aircraft swap. <sighs> Trying to get there, thinking that they gonna have a crew pre-boarding the plane and the passengers gonna be sitting there just waiting for us to hop on and go. Nope. <laughs> get there, all the customers are standing around just impatiently waiting on the aircraft. So I guess our plane for that flight had just got back from Canada. So it was at the international terminal and they were still doing the post flight checks for that. So we waited maybe like another, I wanna say 30, 40 minutes for Okay, hold on, lights. He says, pretty cool. My first officer, <laughs> y'all, I had a JetBlue flight attendant non revving on my flight. She was so sweet. She gave us Snickers and Twizzlers. And so I gave the pilots the candy. And my first officer was like, I'm like a little kid giggling. I shouldn't eat so many Snickers. But he's like so excited about like, He's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go grab a beer and go and chill in the crew room and I hear it's really nice. Like, this is a crew room, y'all. Look at this crap. He talking about it's really nice. It's literally just a regular hotel room without the bed. <laughs> anyway, so I put my food in the refrigerator there. Hopefully, it's there tomorrow when I'm ready to eat it. I don't think there's anything in there that I need, like right now. And if there is, oh well. There's an elevator. It's just a room. Nothing special. Put my food in there since there's not a refrigerator. Oh, yeah, that, you, know, you can call it Destiny, we'll bring you one. Yeah, I was too tired to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, are you want to eat ramen or are you going to... What time are y'all going? 11. Possibly, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, that was my first officer. Nice guy. Um, yeah, so... We wait about another 30, 40 minutes. Plane finally comes. They had to, of course, cater the plane, clean the plane, all that stuff. And then, this hotel is so confusing. Then it was a 23 minute flight from Chicago to Grand Rapids. I ain't even get up, y'all. Like, well I didn't get, let me not sound like I'm just lazy and trifling. I didn't get up because Captain never turned off um, the stereo light, like the light that notifies us that it's you know safe for flight attendants to get up and move around the cabin and you know all that good stuff. So for 23 minutes, I did get up on landing just to do a compliance check. We're supposed to, even though not one customer had got up. Still do your compliance check. <sighs> 23 minute flight, y'all. That was like, bing bang. It was more like maybe 26 minutes. Cause my, I always set a timer on my watch when we're in flight for what the flying time is. I always set the timer just, you know, people ask how much more time do we have in flight or 
so I can know, you know, what phase of flight I should be in. Just things like that. That's why I set the timer. Um, so yeah, my timer went off before we, before wheels hit the ground. So it was just a few more minutes. <sighs> Anyways, y'all, it was um, it's an easy day. Easy enough. I mean, Friday the 13th, a full moon, according to Jenny. <laughs> so people are just cuckoo. I guess just, you know, I guess things things happen on the 13th of a Friday. <sighs> so, back in my room. That's all the update that I've got for y'all. Is this, oh, this is brown. At first I thought this was burgundy. The carpet is burgundy though. Still ugly. <sighs> Any case, got to wash my face, drink some water. Sorry, I've probably been holding this camera like this the whole time that I've been vlogging. It's, my, it's heavy, I need to buy a, um, a thing so I don't have to hold it up all the way like that. Or I just need to do some shoulder workouts and build some muscles and not be so weak. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, that's it. I'm going to bed. Good night.